Hello Metalheads, there's a new software update available for the Garrett Vortex. Let's set the laptop up and show you how it goes. Right, I do believe we need to go to garrett.com That takes us into the website Then I think we need to click Garrett Direct stroke store And then if we Scroll our way down to the bottom of the page. We want services, updates, and upgrades. So let's click there. Uh, Scrolling on down again, there's the upgrades to increase your model. Here's your free software updates. Vortex VX9 firmware update 2.05, that's what we need. Right, let's click here free to how to install an update and those are the improvements on the release software how to install download the Garrett installer launch the installer log in and plug in your device now you will need to create a personal account with Garrett and register your machine with them and when you're creating your account, you'll need the serial number of your machine, which is on that label on the bottom side of the arm cup. All right, let's try clicking here to download the installer. And it's going to save it into downloads folder. Right. And it's thrown it up here on the top of my screen. Let's click on that and run it. Just there we go. Installation folder next 
preparing information. Please specify a directory where it will be installed. So if you look there, it's going to throw it into C drive program folders, program files. There's the size of it. Next. Accept the license. Next. Next. Install. Presumably we allow it to make changes. It's downloading onto my laptop right now. Right, I'll let that do its business and come back shortly. Right, now final message to finish. The wizard, click finish. That we should all be done. Now, I need to find where on earth that's stored on the laptop. Bear with. Right, I think this is the way to find it. Go to File Explorer. Come across to this PC. Into C Drive. Into Program Files x86. And there we have Garrett Updater. Oh my bloody days. Computer gobbledygook. Oh, hang on. Garrett Updater. Try that. It's thinking about it. It's thinking about it a lot. Ah, yes, here we go. So, I've already created my account with my email address and password. Let me log into that for a moment excellent I'm into my account it's saying on the back of your device insert the USB connection into the charging port power on the device and verify that there is at least two bars worth of charge connect to the laptop and see how we go from there okay so we have usb type c charging cable supplied with the machine into that port there and power on machines on it's fully charged anyway and then other end of our cable we'll get that into the USB port I'm trying to do this one handed and trying to jam it into there we go we're in it's bleeping nothing meaningful on the screen of the detector launch scan scanning for devices 
device confirmation, vortex with my serial number there, confirm device, boom, registering, one device found, and update to latest looks like we are singing and dancing metalheads please do not disconnect your device during the install the install can take up to five minutes to complete Let's, uh, there we go we're starting to install three percent and is the screen saying anything no the screen has gone blank temporarily all right is this going to be super rapid or do i pause the video i don't think you want to sit and watch a custard snake going around the screen do you let's come back to you when that's completed we're nearing the end of that installation process so let's just watch what happens when we get to the 100 percent mark will that just be it oh yeah installation complete your update is now complete you may disconnect your vortex and are ready to go boom there we go now one thing i am going to quickly do because i think there's going to be multiple updates for this machine i'm going to try to show more options send to desktop create a shortcut let's minimize that window a moment all oh, right well there we go it had already thrown one onto my desktop anyway <laughs> so even garrett are anticipating that uh, we're going to be doing this more than once so we can now disconnect the usb cable power off the machine job done on the first update let's see how the machine performs now thanks for watching metalheads